Hi, I'm Robo Marcello. Welcome to my 2024 Pi Game Projects Showcase. I'll not only show you what I've built, but also explain how these projects were implemented. Let's dive in. The first project is the Voronoi Diagram. It's a pattern generated by placing points and calculating the distance between each screen pixel and all the points. The closest point determines the color of the pixel, and repeating this for every pixel gives you this result. We can also use a different distance calculation called Manhattan Distance, which creates this unique effect. There is another approach I tried, which I think is even more satisfying. Instead of calculating distances, I expand circles from the points. Each circle takes over only the pixels that haven't been claimed yet. Maze generation has been on my to-do list for a while, and I've finally made it. I used the backtracking algorithm, and it's amazing how something so simple can yield such results. Inverse kinematics is a fascinating technique for connecting two points with any number of joints. While the math is complex, there's a nearly ideal iterative approximation called the fabric algorithm. It works by adjusting each joint to bring the chain closer to the target, then shifting everything back to the starting point. I use this technique for the legs of this stick figure. Inverse kinematics has amazing applications, like in animations and robotics, and I'm excited to explore it more. Another project I worked on is a face-swapping app called Maskify. Here's how it works. You provide two face images as input, and the program detects facial landmarks using Google's media pipe. I then manually created triangles to map features from one face to the other. The results? Honestly, they look pretty creepy. That's because the app doesn't account for lighting or smooth out the sharp edges. But I realized a better use for this technique creating stylized masks like the mime mask you see here. This project was a bit rushed to meet the tool jam deadline, so it's not as polished as I'd like. It gets the job done, but could definitely use improvements. Mediocre Game with Golf-like Gameplay in Space was my submission to the Pi Game Community Summer Jam 2024. I teamed up with Boopka, who you might remember from last year's video. The theme was Interstellar, and I came up with the idea of a space puzzle game where you launch your spaceship to reach a planet while avoiding physics-based obstacles. I built a custom physics engine to handle all interactions. It was a tough challenge, and looking back, I see so many ways I could improve it. The game has 30 levels, though funny enough, I created the last 15 with just four fingers on the final deadline day. Boopka handled the artwork, which turned out incredible and saved me a ton of time. We ended up placing third overall, and it was such a fun project. Oh, and a fun fact, enter the Konami code to unlock a cheat. Fractals are self-repeating patterns, and I've had a lot of fun experimenting with them. Here are some fractals I've created. Fractal trees. These branching patterns are simple yet stunning, and they even inspired my next project. Siapinski Triangle, a classic fractal that's always been a favorite of mine. Toothpick Sequence, you start with a single toothpick, then place two at each available end, repeating the process. I discovered this one on the Pi Game Community Discord. Let's see how many steps can I generate before it breaks. Coke Snowflake, one of the most beautiful fractals in my opinion. Dragon Curve, I've always wanted to create this iconic fractal and finally did. Isn't it fascinating how such simple rules can create such intricate beauty? And after experimenting with fractal trees, 
I decided to take it a step further by creating a scene mostly generated with code. The hills in the scene are made using sine waves, and the trees are based on fractal trees, but with added swing and a bit of randomization. I experimented with more advanced randomization, but it often gave messy results. Maybe I didn't tweak it enough, but I decided to keep it as is. The sky is a combination of gradient and noise with color dodge blending. It's not perfect, and I've seen some incredible trees made by others that I'd love to match one day. But for now, I'm happy with this scene. Another area I explored this year was particle systems. They're fantastic for adding visual feedback in games and making graphical effects. My system supports textured particles with color changing via multiply blending. To maximize performance, I cached texture rotations and some other minor tweaks. Updating thousand textured particles takes about 1.5 milliseconds, which is quite low. I was even building an editor for the particle system using Pygame GUI module. It was my first time using it. It was fun, but hard to adapt. I really feel like there's so much more I could explore and implement within the engine itself. I hit a bit of a motivational wall with the editor, but I'm really excited to continue project next year. I'm hoping to integrate it into future projects to add that extra layer of polish. The VFX system is another tool I created, similar to the particle system. I made about five effects, and it's a powerful way to generate visuals. Traditionally, effects like these would be animated, saved as images, and then loaded, taking up significant disk space and RAM. This system is much more flexible. I can adjust the intensity, duration, and even combine effects for more complex visuals. So here are all of the effects. Like the particle system, I feel I've only scratched the surface of what's possible. There's so much potential here, and I hope to revisit and polish it in the future. As a bonus project, I want to showcase my website. This was my first time diving into HTML and CSS, and I'm excited to share it with you. The site has three pages, Home, Projects, and Gallery. I'm hosting it on GitHub pages, and I even bought a custom domain through Cloudflare for which I paid $12. It's still a work in progress, but it's been fun to learn. That's the end. Here are itch analytics compared to last year. Huge thanks for sticking around until the end. You might like this video. See you next time.